Hi everyone. Today we're going to study the percentiles. Let us define the percentiles. The percentiles are the score points which divide a distribution into 100 equal parts and are denoted by P sub 1 for first percentile, P sub 2 for second percentile, P sub 3 for third percentile, up to P sub 99 for the 99th percentile. They are generally used to characterize values according to the percentage below them. For example, the 15th percentile, denoted by P sub 15, separates the lowest 15% from the other 85%. Let us discuss percentile ranks. Since the various measures of location differ in terms of the percentages of cases below them, it might be interesting to find out how these percentages, called percentile ranks, denoted by PR, are computed when percentiles are given. Percentiles are score points while percentile ranks are percentages. In the statement 45% are less than 80, 80 is the percentile and 45 is the percentile rank. Therefore, 80 is the value at the P sub 45, or the 45th percentile. Let us see now the formula for the percentiles. Percentiles are computed in much the same way as how the median, quartiles, and deciles are calculated. This is the formula P sub PR equals X sub LB plus the ratio PR over 100 multiplied by N minus CF sub P all over F multiplied by I. Take note that this X sub LB is the lower boundary of the percentile class. The CF sub P is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the percentile class. This F here is the frequency of the percentile class and I is the class width. The N here is the total number of cases. Take note that the 50th percentile is equal to the median, which is also equal to the second quartile, and also equal to the fifth decile. Let us see this example. Find the 65th percentile of the distribution below. We have here two columns. The first column for the class intervals where there are seven classes. For the frequency, the numbers are here respectively. The first thing that we can do is to compute for the total number of frequency, and that is the N, which is equal to 50. Let us now construct another column 
for cumulative frequency denoted by CF. The numbers are here. This number 2 is copied from the frequency of the first class. And 2 plus 6 equals 8. So we write here 8. 8 plus 9 is 17. 17 plus 10 equals 27. 27 plus 12 equals 39. 39 plus 7 equals 46. 46 plus 4 equals 50. The last number here must be equal to the total number of frequency. Let us now write the formula for the 65th percentile. We can see here that this is 65 over 100, representing the 65% of the distribution. For step 1, let us find the P sub 65 class. Getting this value here, let us substitute the value for the N. So this is now 65 over 100 times 50. We can cancel out this 50 and the 100. So we have 65 over 2 and that is equal to 32.5. This is the 65% of the distribution. So we are looking for the 32.5 item. We say that the 32.5 item lies in the P sub 65 class. For step 2, we locate the 32.5 value in the CF column. This is the CF column. We can observe that the values grow bigger as we go down. We are looking for this 32.5 in this column or a number that is slightly higher. We can see that it is here. And this 37 to 45 is the P sub 65 class. For step 3, let us collect the required values of the formula. We started with that 65 over 100 times N from step 1. And the value is 32.5. X sub LB is the lower class boundary of the P sub 65 class. We write here 36.5. We got this value from the lower limit minus 0 0.5. So 37 minus 0 0.5 is 36.5. Next is the CF sub P. This is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the P sub 65 class. Here is 27. So we copy it here. F equals 12. That is the frequency of the P sub 65 class. I is the class width. It is the number of terms or numbers inside a class. For step 4, let us substitute the values in the formula and solve. The X sub LB is now 36.5 plus this value here is the 32.5 minus CF sub B is 27 all over F which is now equal to 12. This fraction is multiplied by I and we substitute the value of 9. Let us simplify further 
Let us take the difference of the numerator. 32.5 minus 27 is 5.5. Then we multiply this 5.5 with the number 9. So we have 49.5 divided by 12 equals 4.13. We add this value and the 36.5. We will get now the 65th percentile which is equal to 40.63. We say that 65% of the distribution fall below 40.63. This is our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.